Good evening, Nashville. Welcome to Sportsline. It is the Wednesday extravaganza. Yours truly, John Burton, with you for the next hour. Got a lot to get to today. We're going to talk a lot of Titans as they get ready for a big AFC South Divisional showdown in Jacksonville on Sunday, a game you can see over on News Channel 5 just after high noon with kickoff. But I'm not alone tonight. I am joined and, pleasure, and pleased to be joined by former NFL head coach, longtime NFL assistant, a football lifer, and now the radio analyst for Titans uh, football on the radio, along with Mike Keith. Coach Dave McGinnis is here for the hour. What's up, man? It's good to be here, Great man. Great to see you, brother. Thanks for asking How's me. How's everything? Man, it's, it's great good. to have you here. I was we're wondering when to... you were going to ask well, me. Well, we've been trying to get this together you know, you for ask a while. Everybody, you ask everybody at training camp, and every time I'd come <laughs> up to you and say, hey, how about letting me come on here? You just walk right by me. Yeah. So, yeah, so now we're yeah, here. I've been big time you, and I apologize that, for okay, that, Coach. I'll accept that apology. Coach, I'm glad to be here. Coach, Thanks. it's so much fun to listen to you. You know, I cover all the home games for the Titans, and what I make sure I do is I listen to you and Mike Keith broadcast the game as I'm watching it so I can do it because sometimes my, my my mind tends to wander a little bit when I'm coaching <laughs> these games. I'm thinking about right. food. I'm thinking about what I'm going to do after work. And so listening to you guys really helps me keep in tune with what's going on, especially with like substitutions, personnel, and all that kind of stuff. How much fun are you having working with Mike? And we love Mike. He's friend of show. He's been on the show many times. Mike Keith, the best play-by-play man in the NFL, bar none, in my opinion. How much fun are you having doing this? This is your second season now. Well, I mean, you can tell. I mean, I'm having a blast. <laughs> I mean, I really am. I mean, this has been, you know, again, I've coached in this league for so long. Mm. And and really, you know, when they called me last year to do this, I mean, I was uh, hanging on Malibu Beach. I mean, I was doing okay. <laughs> but they called me. In the eight years that I had coached here, I mean, I really, really developed a real affinity for the organization yeah. and also for, you know, the city of Nashville. Sure. And the people of Nashville have been so good to me and the fans. And then when they asked me to come back and do it you know I said sure but once I started doing it mm -hmm. and found out how much I liked enjoyed the people I was working with yeah and then this the environment here in Nashville and with the club and, and again you know I, I, I met Amy Adams Strunk and she was so welcoming and the whole Such thing a nice lady is well, well, yeah but she knows what she's doing right and again as I say I've been in this league for 33 years John I know good from bad right and and she's outstanding and and then with John Robinson and now with Mike Vrabel I mean I absolutely love it so I'm I'm having a blast I really am yeah it sounds like you are and what I love about listening to you on the broadcast I mean you can really uh, help us understand what's going on in that game you know in terms of personnel in terms of substitutions in terms of you know what to look for even though it's on the radio what to kind of think about in your mind as the game is going on I think you do a tremendous job of that I mean that comes from years and years and years of watching a lot of ball right well I mean it, it's very <laughs> kind of you to say that but yeah. you know I've I've had three headsets in my ears offense defense and special teams for 33 years you know in the press box during over 650 NFL games right and so all I, you know, when, when I took this job, and, and, you know, of course, the people at the radio station were saying, you know, have you ever done this? I said, no. Yeah. You know, have you ever thought about doing this? I said, no. Yeah. And so they were, you know, rightfully so, a little nervous, you know. But, but Mike <laughs> Keith had, had and, and Stuart Spears and those people had great faith in me. And when I, I came in here on a Tuesday, mm -hmm. went to practice Wednesday, Thursday, John, mm -hmm. got on the team playing Friday and went and called the Jets game on Saturday. Wow. And so they're standing behind me, you know, and they say, okay, we'll work. You know, I said, just sure. let me do this for a quarter we'll work through it yeah and then after the first quarter you know they told me to take my headset off and I thought okay here it comes you know they're going to start saying no coach Mack no 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 and they said don't ever do anything different right do this this is great and so to me what I'm trying to do not what I'm trying to do I'm just talking ball mm -hmm. with what I'm seeing you know right. I watch a lot of film during the week just as if I were preparing as if I were coaching and then I just want to explain to our listeners because you know as Mike Keith says I mean he's a pro's pro right and he's so super organized and he said coach Mack just you know we're their eyes and their ears for our listeners and just explain what right. you're seeing and and of course I've talked ball all my life I grew up in West Texas I was that kid that was seven and eight years old in the field house that the coaches couldn't run out of there <laughs> you know and so seriously this is yeah. what I've done all my life and being able to do it here and do it in this environment and then do stuff I mean just do all this stuff this is great and you look at where the Titans have, have where they've come from over the last couple of years I mean you know we were here for those two really bad years uh, you know with three and thirty. 14, 2 and 14. You look at the way they've drafted. You look at the players they brought in. You look at the mentality, uh, the game, the culture-changing type players they brought in. 
it's a good team to work for. Well, it really is. And see, I never experienced that because mm -hmm. the eight years I was here with you know with Jeff Fisher, we had some good teams, sure. and especially that 2008 team. And right. you know, once we you know we had a good team, and then we had to do the salary cap purge, mm -hmm. and then you know built it back up, and then 2008 you know had that 13 and three year, and right. a great team. So, and I've always experienced you know just really good football. You know, when I when in in Nashville with the Titans in that stadium. Right. So when I come back, you know, and, and I know there were some lean years there. Of course, I was coaching other places, but mm -hmm. I always kept tabs. And but to me, this is such a good football place, and it's such a football smart city. And and our listeners and our whole area and region. I mean, and now I really like what's going on now. I mean, this is this is good. What's going on up there? We've you know just what, and we'll talk about what happened last sure. week with a really diminished. Uh, and I've been in those situations before as a head coach, mm -hmm. and it really makes injuries you, to keep players well, and that kind yes, of stuff, and, and guys and, have to step up. And, right, and you're really proud when you are able to get a message and and convey a plan to your players, and they believe in you enough to do it, and then to see it come to fruition with the win. I mean, that felt good. Yeah. and winning in the national. National Football League is not very important. It's only as important as oxygen, you know, because, I mean, you have to have it. If you don't have it, you got no chance to, right. to live. You really don't. Right. This whole week's been great, you know, just because you win. And there's nothing like winning on Sunday, and there's also nothing else like getting ready to play another opponent, and this week is big. Yeah, it's going to be huge. We're going to talk about that with Coach Dave McGinnis. And you, you mentioned how you watch film during the week. You've got everybody over there watching film. Our, our friend Amy Wells, Titans Amy, she watches film uh, during the week. Week. It was outstanding. When I came here, you know, and of course, you know, I, I'd met Amy before. Yeah. When we came here, when I was with the Rams for a preseason game, Mike Keith introduced me to her. Yeah. And uh, and then Amy Wells and Ashley Farrell. Yep. You know, of course, I, they're up the office next. They were officing, yeah. had their offices next to Mike Keith. And so I started watching. Said I want to need. I need to watch some film. And so you know, uh, you know, Anthony Pastrana got got the film set up up there in her office where we could watch. And they said, Coach Mack, would you teach us? Well, I said, Look. The only way I'm going to do this, I don't need to practice my coaching. Right. I've done it for a long time. If you really want to learn, then we're going to you're going to get your notebooks out, and we're going to sit here, and then we're going to go through this, and we're going to have quizzes, and we're going to have you know I'm going nice. to teach you just like and they. It's stuck almost with, like a college course. No, right? no, no, and they stuck with it so well, and yeah. they they know ball, and they really do. And and again, they were very thick skinned because I wasn't easy on them, you right. know. And I you know after four or five, I said, look, we've gone over this before. I'm about tired of telling you this again. You know we. <laughs> We, but it, it, it's so good, and, and because they really want to learn it. Because guess what? And I'm so all for, you know, you know, the, the, the females being in our business that, mm -hmm. that really want to learn it. Yeah. And, and they're, they're they're both so serious about their jobs. Oh, and, they do a great job. Well, shout, yeah. shout out to Amy and Ashley. They well, do a great absolutely. job. Absolutely, and they want to learn it. And I think it's it, it it. I mean, I've got a sister. When I grew up in West Texas, the best athlete in the family. Mm -hmm. But there were were there never any avenues for her sure. afterwards. But to see but to see Amy and Ashley. You know, thrive like they are in the National Football League, and now they can do their jobs better because sure. they know what they're seeing and they yeah. know a little bit about what's going on. So anyway, plus I get to practice my coaching. Yeah, I want to ask you about that. Do you miss coaching? Yes. I mean, you you did it forever. I no, mean, yes. How much do you miss coaching? Well, I mean, I miss it. I love it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, you know what I really like? I really like, of course, you know, all the years that I did it. I mean, I've been involved with some great great human beings as players. I mean, mm -hmm. I just was on the phone with Jake Plummer the other day. I got a lot of my ex-players call me, wow. a lot to check on me. You know, I was Really helped to turn that Cardinals franchise around, Absolutely. right? Yeah. I, I was involved with six Hall of Famers in my career. I've done, you know, I've been so blessed. But the thing about that I miss is 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 getting a group of guys, mm -hmm. whether you're an assistant coach or assistant head coach or head coach, and everybody working together for a common goal, getting a plan, and then seeing that plan come to fruition, right. and then watching young players develop, yeah. and watching really young players come into this league that have no idea what it is to be a professional right. because being a professional John in this league and you know this you've been around it a long time mm -hmm. is much more than getting paid right there's a lifestyle to being a pro well that's and, the thing I, it's, it's funny because you know I ask rookies all the time and when they come into the league during rookie minicamp it's like I hope you know what you're up against because in college right and you know this they tell you when to get up when to eat when to study when to practice when to sleep you know when you're a pro you're expected to, you know, be right. on time. You're expected to, you know, go home 
and and do your film study on your own without a coach looking over your shoulder, you know, quizzing you. And it's a whole different ball game. Right, right? and it's all on you. And, right. and, and the thing that happens a lot of times, every athlete that makes it to this level in the National Football League, they've been that dude wherever they've been sure. their whole career. They've and been so taken all, care of. They've yes. been, yeah, and the whole so, deal. I mean, all of us have. We're all spoiled that have been in this. And right. then, but all of a sudden, when you're when you're there now, it's, I mean, every day's an interview. And it's the quicker you learn that, the quicker you learn how to take care of your body, the quicker you learn how to adjust your lifestyle so that during the season and then when you take a break and then in the off season as you work, everything is pointed towards staying healthy and then yep. being able to perform at a maximum level. That entails a lot of things and it entails a lot of discipline. Sure. You know, and, and so to me, watching those guys develop, watching that kind of stuff go on, and then just the, the euphoria and the joy of winning games. Yeah. You know, and plus being able to come back from losses because you're not going to win them all in this league. That's just the way it is. Titans coming off a win 20 to 17 over the Houston Texans last Sunday at Nissan Stadium. They're in Jacksonville this Sunday to face a very good Jaguars team. It's going to be a battle. We've got an entire hour with Coach Dave McGinnis. We're going to break down last week's win, look ahead to this week's game, talk about the Titans injuries, and take a look around the National Football League. If you would like to ask a question to our coach, Dave McGinnis, you can see the number at the bottom of your screen, 737-7767. We're talking Titans with Coach Mack. And we get started right after this. Stay with us.